The big talker this morning is the rain. I know Stasia mentioned maybe perhaps causing some issues with traffic. Always does. What are we looking at? Yeah, yeah sure. We are looking at the scattered showers out there north of the Metroplex right now. As we get up into a Denton and Collin County, the northern parts of the Metroplex, we're looking at a little cluster of light to moderate rain moving through Denton over into Collin County right now. So let's get you out to Denton. Kind of hard to see, but we have seen the rain coming down in Denton. Actually, it's tapered off a little bit as that cluster of showers and storms continues to move east or showers, I should say, uh, with this. So we haven't seen much in the way of thunderstorm activity around. I think that's going to be a little bit better chance farther south, but you can see what's happening up into Denton County right now, just east of Denton. Still going to have some light rain there, but from Aubrey over toward Prosper as we get into Collin County, right along Highway 380, looking at those showers there moving through. So McKinney, you're going to have some wet roads to deal with as you head out down toward Allen and maybe just north of Plano here this morning. So you see around the, met the rest of the Metroplex for now anyway, Dallas County, Tarrant County going to be rain free for the moment, but I think that will change as we go through the morning rush. So prepare for some wet roads out there. Plan on giving yourself a little extra time. Make sure you throw that umbrella in the back seat. Might need the raincoat as well for the kids heading off to the bus stop here this morning. Now, as we zoom out a little bit more, you see the uh, showers a little more widespread heading down I-35 and I-45 from Corsicana back to Hillsboro. You see in Hamilton, and that's where we do have some embedded thunderstorms. So some locally heavy rain, some very localized flooding can't be ruled out as we're starting to see or will see the uh, rain raining over the same areas there, so that's something else we'll have to watch out for too as we go through the morning commute. Otherwise, we're going to have cloudy skies outside of the rain areas. Clouds won't be going anywhere. We'll have that chance for some showers and storms hanging around off and on throughout the day. That's the way we head toward 8 a.m. Still pretty much what we're dealing with now. The scattered showers, some isolated thunderstorms south of I-20 that may pick up a little bit more as we head toward mid late morning around midday around the Metroplex. So I think we'll have a few more showers and storms around the immediate Dallas Fort Worth area for the lunchtime hour, and then those will start to taper off some, but still some scattered rain and storms around as we head into the afternoon a little bit of a lull but then we'll have the next round moving in late tonight and into tomorrow morning but coverage should be a little bit lower for us so here's that forecast for you as we go through the day today only around 80 degrees for that high we'll be in the lower 80s tomorrow and th then we're looking at about a 50 percent coverage especially for the first part of the day on friday with those showers and storms rain chances will linger into the first part of the weekend on saturday we'll go with about a 40 percent coverage and then sunshine is back sunday going into monday temperatures start to warm back up as well close to 90 degrees on Monday and we will see some lower 90s with low rain changes next Tuesday and Wednesday.